Hide your pappas. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Ken Ken's debit card. I needed not one, not two, but three wigs today. All of them are from the Sensational Curls, Kinks & Co line. Curls, Kinks & Co, yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. And they all come with kinky edges. If you know, then you know. If you don't know, then stay tuned to find out, okay? But before we get into that, it is also Sip & Slay, and the girl got her wine today. It was a special occasion, so I had to bust it out. Let's go ahead and <laughs> get that Stella Rosa in the can, pine apple. Ooh, it's been a minute. But anyway, before we get into the install, the specs, and what I think about these units straight off the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, y'all, so we got some wigs today. Look at this. These wigs are from Sensational. They are from their Curls, Kinks, and Co line. They are brand new and they are the Kinky Edges Textured Lace Wig. Wait a minute, what? These are 13 by six? <gasps> I never knew. Okay. This brand normally just has a lace part. Maybe that's why they were the price they were. I thought they were the price because of the edges. I was like, oh, okay, they, you know, they upcharging for the edges. This is why reading is fundamental. <laughs> I tell y'all all the time to read and here I am not reading. So we have the Kinky Body Wave in 14 inches, the Kinky Coily in 16 inches, and last but not least, we have the Kinky Straight in 24 inches, okay? What is that, 14, 16, 24? Absolutely. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the long one first. I got Kinky Straight in the color Balayage Mocha. These are the special colors on the back. Hopefully it looks, it looks good. We shall see. I was about to sing We Shall Overcome. This is not the month. <laughs> I hear a package outside. I was trying to get the natural colors, but I completely missed the drop. So I had to like buy these from different um, websites because the natural colors were selling out. And I understand why. It's a natural texture wig with the kinky edges. I don't think you want blonde hairs around your face. So, you know, the special colors were still available when I looked. So this is what we're looking like for this one. So it's not blonde edges, okay? They're brown to match with the mocha color. And all the caps should be the same. I will verify, but yeah. They all have a 13 by six, same type of construction, combs on the side. And then it does have the elastic band in the wig with the comb on the back and the adjustable straps if you wanna tighten your wig down. Sensational wigs normally run small on me, okay? More big head associate than anything. So I'm gonna put my wig on without adjusting the straps on the inside of the cap. I'm a little nervous about this lace. Let's put it on, let's see. I do have on my wig grip today. Let's see if I got any room. Stretch it over. Oof. I'm not gonna say that looks good because it doesn't. It's definitely giving kinky. Y'all know when the human hair brands first dropped these edges and they were trying to, you know, figure out how to do them. This is how they look, okay? They were a little too short for my liking. So I'm definitely gonna have to blow dry that a little bit because I wanted to match this hair. The lace is supposed to be HD, even though it doesn't look it, when you have HD lace on a synthetic wig, most times it does blend down with your products. So I'm gonna use my contour to do that, but I'm gonna tint it first with my press powder. I am gonna take off my band though, my, uh, my wig grip, just because I wanna make sure this is gonna fit how I want it to fit, and right now she's sitting a little, a little iffy. I had a black wig cap down here yesterday. My hair is braided down, okay, this is how we looking. All right, what I'm doing in this one, I'm gonna do on the other ones as well as far as the edges. This is the Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder in the color Milk Chocolate. Hold up, I've gotten used to wearing this one, so I don't really wanna wear my wig cap. That's stretched over pretty nicely. My head is 23 inches, gang gang, and this is fitting down perfectly with my hair flat. But now I need to straighten out these edges because they are, Woo, a new. Somewhere there is a claw clip. For my edges, I'm gonna use my bristle brush and my blow dryer. I'm gonna use high and warm, just to see if it'll straighten out a little bit and give me a more relaxed fit. Not relaxed fit, a relaxed look. What am I talking about, jeans? Already, I was a little iffy about the color with those edges, but now I, now I like it. I need my banana clip. Don't gotta cut too much lace because it pretty much fits already around my face. Bars. You just cut it using my razor to get this off. Put my glasses over top the lace. Now, can we do swishies? Let's find out. Here we go, yo. 
Here we go, yo. I don't want to swirl up too much. I'm hoping they don't curl back up. We're going to find out though. Here we go. Wrap it down. I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup real quick and then we'll come back, brush it out, and see what she's looking like. Getting some snags. No shedding though. I do like the texture of this hair. It has a nice density to it. It actually feels thick and not like a, uh, not that lightweight feel. If you tried Sensational Curls Kinks and Co before, you know their textured kinky look, what that feels like. It feels a little bit more silkier. This actually feels texturized. I like that. Is this a human hair blend? What is this? This is just straight up synthetic. Okay, Sensational. Let's see what this part in space is looking like. 13 by six. It is gonna be shorter on the sides, but I still have me a good size deep part over here. Where's the track? There is a track, okay. But that's still a good size part. You will need to watch out for the tangling though. This hair does tangle. So, oh, so I'm gonna do my blow dryer brush on high and I'm gonna move real fast just to see if it'll help the hair a little bit. It says it's heat safe up to 400, 350 to 400. So teeter more on that 350 side. Let's get this band off so we can see what this hairline is looking like. Fingers crossed, it looks good, hopefully. <laughs> kind of pulling back a little bit, hold up. Okay. <laughs> this is looking good, y'all, this looks good. Take my contour on my brush like this, tap a little bit off and go around the edges. I may need to use a smaller brush. See a little dark, but we won't fix it, that's all right. Just because I want this to sit and not budge, I probably could have left my wig grip on, but since I did not, let's just spray it to see what she looked like. Using a little bit of my melt spray right across the front. Hold it down, brush it back. I don't care about my size, because I'm gonna have those down anyway. I think we are good. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's do a little bit of powder in my part in space. Use the creamy bronze finish. Let's flatten the top out. But I think that is it. Okay. So here's the final look for the first wig. If you need to straighten out the edges, straighten out the edges, okay? They give a more natural look that way. Let me come up close so y'all can see. For this to be a synthetic wig, I ain't mad at her. She does frizz up a little bit um, because I put the mousse on there, but I kind of like the frizz up look for this because this is a natural looking wig. The wig look good, I look good, we look good together. I don't wanna take it off. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do wig number two, okay? The Kinky Curly 13 by 6, 16 inches in the color 1B. Y'all know I love me some big hair, and this is some big hair. Look at Big Judy. <laughs> this one may be a little bit too much for you, unless you know how to tame it, okay? My girl Gladys, AKA Forever Gladys, or is that your hair? She has a video on how to thin out your curly units. I've never done it, but I'm gonna give you a, a quick synopsis. She just parts the hair. There are some snags in this unit. She takes one of the tracks or some of the hair and she literally just cuts it out 
okay? Not the track, just the hair. You don't wanna do too much, because if you do too much, you're gonna have a lot of gaps in your wig. But make sure you go ahead and watch her video. I will try to find it and link it down below. I did shape my unit for the look that I wanted. It pretty much already comes in this type of shape. It was just too much out here. I was initially gonna wear it in the middle part, but the side part with the little swoopy swoop was calling my name. So, you know, here we are. This one did tangle, and I do expect that because of the texture of the unit. However, I did not get any shedding with it. I did use my bristle brush and my blow dryer to blow this out, again, on high and warm heat, but I didn't do it as long as the first one. Move real fast and, you know, she'll be good to go. This is gonna be hard to choose my favorite, Sensational. I know, I know. I don't wanna take this one off either. But let's go ahead and put on number three. class. <laughs> Hide your pappas. <laughs> A lot of y'all have been asking me to try a gray wig that's more like salt and pepper gray. And uh, hello. <laughs> Listen, the salt and pepper is looking kind of good. Y'all saw me put down the color number two. This one is the HL280 slash 44. So same wig. We just got a different color. Let me show y'all the side really quick. All right. And then to the back. Nothing crazy. This one feels a little bit silkier than the color number two of this same wig. The color number two definitely feels like it has a little bit more texture. When you start to get into the colored versions of these wigs, it starts to sleek out a little bit because I gotta mix the colors, you know, in here and the hair is processed differently, but it's still giving texture. And when you add in the edges, if you have seen your grandma's hair, when she starts to gray around the edges, they get real coarse-like. Y'all see that? Just like that. My grandma gonna try to snatch this. Hands off, granny. I did blow out my edges as well, so you know, nothing crazy. Use your brush. I promise it will do some things on that hairline. Ooh. Let me show you guys the part and space for this one. That 13 by six. Okay. Yeah, she's cute, she's cute. This is definitely giving me the vibe of Letitia. I just asked them to do a version of a cut up Letitia and they said, if you only knew. They had me already, they just couldn't say anything. Sensational, thank you. Listen, it's Friday and bingo night. Okay, Brenda is about to be upset. Look like a winner, be a winner. <laughs> I think I may wear this one for the rest of the day. I'm five years older than my husband, so uh, I'm about to make him feel real young. Wow. <laughs> As always, I will put the direct link for my units down below, so if you guys wanna check them out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.